Last month, outside Singapore's Bishan Depot, Factwire reporters filmed two defective subway trains being transported away. After one in the morning, each train car was loaded onto a large dolly and escorted away by police and construction vehicles. Each train car was over 20 meters long and completely wrapped in green covering. Factwire has confirmed from multiple sources that the subway trains spotted in Singapore were being recalled back to their mainland Chinese manufacturer, CSR Sifang. The car bodies of the trains have serious quality issues. As a result, 35 defective trains are being shipped back to CSR Sifang's factory in Qingdao for replacement. Shipping began last year, but the defects and the recalls have been kept secret by Singapore's subway operator and CSR Sifang. At about 3 in the morning, the train cars arrived at Jurong Port in Singapore's western industrial area. Six train cars had already been placed in one corner of the port, ready to be shipped back to Qingdao on a cargo ship. Factwire reporters went to CSR Sifang's factory in Qingdao's Chengyang district at the end of June. CSR Sifang staff confirmed to Factwire that a shipment of trains from Singapore has arrived. The defective trains being recalled and replaced belong to the C-151A model series. In 2009, Singapore's Land Transport Authority awarded the manufacturing contract of the trains to a consortium of Japanese company Kawasaki Heavy Industries and CSR Sifang. Kawasaki Heavy Industries was responsible for designing and overseeing the project, while CSR Sifang was responsible for manufacturing and assembling the train car body. The first 22 trains costed 2.1 billion Hong Kong dollars. These Chinese-made trains began to have problems after they were put into service in 2011. Glass next to the passenger seats have repeatedly shattered and a Chinese-made uninterruptible power supply battery exploded during repair. Fortunately, there were no injuries. Quality issues with the trains further worsened in 2013. Cracks began to appear in the train's structural components, including the subfloor under the passenger cabin used for holding the equipment box and electrical wires, and bolster function parts connecting the train car body to the bogey. Problems with the structural components mean the train car must be completely replaced. It takes four months for each train to be shipped, disassembled, reassembled, tested, and shipped back to Singapore. Sources say impurities in the aluminum train car body most likely caused the problems. A train manager at Kawasaki Heavy Industries, Singapore branch, did not deny the flaws in the C-151A trains and the recall back to Qingdao for replacement. He only said he cannot comment on a particular project. Singapore's subway operator and land transport authority did not respond to requests for comment. CSR Sifang has actively exported trains in recent years. Aside from Singapore, Hong Kong's MTR Corporation is also one of its clients. In 2012, CSR Sifang was awarded a 1.74 billion Hong Kong dollar contract to supply nine trains for the express rail link. In 2015, the MTR's largest order of trains, worth 6 billion Hong Kong dollars, was also awarded to CSR Sifang. The mainland manufacturer will supply 93 trains for the MTR's Kuntong, Chunwan, Chengkwano, and Island lines, making up over 70% of future urban line trains. A former executive at the Kowloon Canton Railway Corporation said the MTR Corporation should thoroughly understand the case. Uh, 
In a written response to Factwire, the MTR Corporation did not acknowledge whether it was aware of quality issues with Singapore's C-151A trains. They only said that, according to the contractor, the car body materials of the C-151A trains and that of the trains bought by the MTR Corporation come from different suppliers. Several hours after Factwire's report was released, Singapore's subway operator posted a statement on Facebook. It admitted that 26 of the 35 trains had cracks in the structure connecting the car body and the bogey after they were delivered in 2013. It added that the defective trains will be repaired by the manufacturer. Singapore's Land Transport Authority also responded to Factwire on the same day, saying that the cracks are not safety critical and do not affect the train's systems or performance.